Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna try this again. I just taped 10 minutes of this video and realized my card was full the entire time. So take two. Uh, we are gonna be doing a tag today. I think in the entirety of my three years on YouTube, I have done maybe two tags. Like this might be my third one, maybe even my second one. It's not that I don't like tags, it's just that sometimes when I see them, um, they don't really fit with myself or my channel. Um, I don't really have answers to the questions in the tag that are, you know, relevant to me, if that makes sense. So this one I feel like is because it's talking about skincare and anything skincare is up Mandy Davis's alley. I love skincare. I said, have said it so many times before, but if you don't know or haven't heard, I feel like if you have a certain amount of money to put towards beauty in your life, the bulk of that money should go to skincare. I'm just saying I feel like that is the most important part because makeup only looks as good as the skin that's underneath. And I can say that because I am a makeup artist and sometimes, depending on how many weddings I have in a week, I can do upwards of 20 faces a week of different skin types and textures and tones. And I can promise you that if you do not take care of your skin, makeup's not gonna be able to do much for you. Um, it can't cover up texture. The more it tries to cover up other stuff, it just starts looking cakey. So I just firmly believe that skincare should be a high priority when it comes to where you put the bulk of your money. Because of that, I am the self-proclaimed very high maintenance person when it comes to skincare. So we're gonna be doing the skincare addict tag. I have no idea who originated this tag. I've seen a couple of people do it. It's been quite a while. This has been on my list of videos I've wanted to film for quite some time. I'm just now getting around to it. So if anybody knows who actually originated this tag, please say it in the comment section because I like to give credit where credit is due. I just don't know where that credit is due. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Mandy. I post two beauty related videos a week and this is a happy day for me. It is actually my birthday when I am posting this video. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure that Chad and I have already celebrated this past weekend, but I'm 38 years old as of today and I love it. I love birthdays because you know what? It's way better than the alternative. And I had a client tell me one time that her granddad used to tell her every day, I woke up on the right side of the dirt today. And I feel like that every single day. It's so much better than the alternative and age to me is simply a number. So we are going to jump into this tag. This is comprised of eight different questions. I will put the questions down on the screen as I ask them. But the first one is how many products are in your skincare routine? This is where it's going to be quite obvious that I'm high maintenance. I know there are people out there who have way more than I do, but there are a lot of people who have way less. And when I have clients or friends ask me, they're like, oh, holy cow, there's no way I could do that. And it's to each their own. I love my skincare routine. I love getting ready in the morning with my skincare. I love taking my makeup off at night with my skincare. It's just relaxing to me, so the more steps, the better. But I do find that as I have gotten older and as I have figured out what has worked for me, I have compressed it down a little bit, which some of y'all are gonna be like, yeah, right, that's not compressed down. But compared to what I have had in the past, it is indeed compressed down. So I counted in the morning, I have 10 products that I use, and at night I have 11. So I will cleanse morning and night. At night I do a double cleanse. I will tone. I will use an eye makeup remover if I have makeup on. And then I will use various toners. I do have skincare routines on my channel. The two most recent that I have posted are a few months old, but it is still what I do to this day. I have come to a point where I'm not really testing out many new skincare products because I have found what works for me and I don't want to rock the boat. Like I'm at the happiest I've been with my skin probably now more than ever and I just don't want to mess that up. So in total, I use 21 products in my skincare routine. The next question is the brand that I have the most favorites from. So I feel like that could be answered with a couple of brands, maybe even a few brands. But if we're talking about right now in my skincare routine, what do I use the most of from a certain brand? I would have to say Truth Treatment Systems. I've talked about them endlessly, but if you've not heard of them, they are a medical grade skincare company. Dr. Ben Fuchs is the owner and formulator of the company. He also used to be the formulator of Sunita Skincare, which I also enjoy. 
But y'all, this stuff is no joke. It has turned my skin around for the better. I use the vitamin C serum, the Truth Balm, the Omega 36, is it 369? The Omega Cream. I don't know what the name of it is. I do use the cleanser every once in a while because I have a small travel bottle. I just ran out of the Biometric Priming Mist. I'm missing something big that I use from him. Oh my goodness. The retinol. Holy cow. Yes, the retinol. I love the retinol. It makes my skin peel like no other, but I have just learned to deal with it because I've tried to go without it so that I didn't have to peel and my skin just did not look the same. I need that outer layer shed from within every couple of weeks. So I do love the retinol. So overall, I would say that way back when I would have said Skin Medica and I still love a lot of their products. I still use the TNS Recovery Complex every single night. I love the TNS Eye Repair. I like the HA5 Hydrating Accelerator. What else do I love from them? I like some of their sunscreens. Some of them have chemical sunscreens in them. The Glypro Serum I love. It's a glycolic antioxidant serum. So those would probably be the two, but currently it would have to be the Truth Treatment Systems. So number three is the brand you like the least. And you know, I don't want to throw a whole brand under the bus, but if I had to say that there was a brand that I have tried the majority of the skincare products from that did not work out for me, I would have to say It Cosmetics. Um, the cleansing balm, oh my, you know, it broke me out so bad in clogged pores and I didn't realize for the longest time what it was until I narrowed it down to that. And literally like within a week after I stopped using it, my clogged pores went away. Um, that has not worked out for me. I don't find any kind of changes or results with the confidence in a cream eye cream or moisturizer. I don't dislike them. I just don't see a huge difference using them. Um, the secret sauce moisturizer broke me out and clogged pores. What else have I tried from them? The micellar water is not my favorite. I tried that in my kit. I just did not feel like it really worked that well. I feel really bad. I'm not trying to like completely diss it cosmetics because they do have some stuff that I like. Their Bye Bye Line Serum is one of my very favorites for under my eyes. So I do love that. I've talked about that endlessly. I've probably gone through four bottles of that. But as a whole, most everything I've tried from them in their skincare range has not worked out for me. So I'd have to say that they are the brand that I like the least when it comes to skincare. The brand that is on my wish list that I have not tried yet, but I want to, would have to be Skin Better Science. So that is another medical grade company that produces what I have seen and what I have read as far as reviews, some amazing products. And I'm really eager to try some of them. I really wanna try their eye cream. I really wanna try, um, they, they have like a retinol, does it have vitamin C in it? A retinol antioxidant type serum that I really wanna try. Um, I want to try some of their day creams. Really, I just want to try it all. I have been so eager to try that brand and I just need to do it. I mean, I just need to do it. I'm going to do it eventually. I will. But that would definitely be, that is the very first brand that came to mind when I read this question. No doubt, Skin Better Science. The product that gave me the best and most visible results, I'm actually going to show you this one, would have to be my Truth Treatment Systems Transdermal C Serum. So this is the second bottle. I just finished my first one after months, y'all. I used two drops of this and I only use it about four times a week because this is a $200 serum. I'm not trying to go through it every three months. I find that because it is so potent in vitamin C, it has an 80% vitamin C in this. That I almost don't have to use it every day to still see the results. So I have another product I'll show you in a little bit that I've been kind of alternating it with, but honestly, when I moved over to the Truth Treatments line, I saw a huge difference in my skin, massive difference in my skin. I have a whole entire video on this line. I will try to put it up in a card. Um, it's fairly old. Well, it's not old, it's when I started using this. So, oh goodness, I have like eight or nine months ago, I don't know. I just feel like the high potency of this vitamin C is what really made the difference. And the fact that there's nothing else in it but the vitamin C and the delivery agents so that it can work for my skin. The, all those combined, I saw the biggest and best results with this. And that is why I purchased another $200 bottle. And that is why I will continue to purchase another $200 bottle because in my 
history of skincare, just nothing has worked as good as this for me. Product with the best value. Okay, they have to be oils. So it really doesn't matter what kind of oil. I'm gonna show you the three that I've been loving the most recently. But the reason that I find that they are the best product for the value, because I didn't really necessarily take this question as what's the cheapest product that you find works in your routine. I kind of took it as what's the best bang for your buck? What is the product that I can get the most uses out of? And I feel like oils are that product. Not only can you use oil just by itself on your face, which I often do right before my moisturizer. I prefer doing it before my moisturizer. Um, some people will say use oil as your very last step. I like to do an oil and then my moisturizer, but you can also use it as your moisturizer. And you know, a lot of times people that don't like a heavy feeling moisturizer can use an oil and it'd be plenty of moisture. Please don't be scared of oils if you have oily skin. I promise you it will work for you. Um, it tricks your body and your skin into thinking it has enough of its own oil so it doesn't produce the extra sebum. I'm not saying that every oil works for every, every person who has oily skin. Do not get me wrong because I don't want people coming on here and be like, don't say that. I have oily skin and it doesn't work for me at all. I'm not saying that. There are certain oils that work better for oily skin and dry skin. It can be found with a very quick Google search. I'm just saying oils in general tend to work for everybody. So again, you can mix them with your moisturizer. You can use them as your moisturizer. I like using them as sometimes as a primer under concealer, um, especially if my clients have super dry dehydrated skin. I will dab a drop of oil underneath each eye and let it sink in just a little bit and then put the concealer on. It will make a world of difference in how the concealer not only initially applies, but how it wears throughout the day minimal creasing, just really nice, plump, moisturized under eyes. And then another way is you can obviously use it mixed in with foundations. Obviously that's not part of a skincare routine, but it works all the same. And it really helps to kind of dilute a foundation that you find is a little too full coverage for you. So, or even a little thick. Like some people complain that the Osmosis foundation that I absolutely love is a little thick. If you put a little drop of beauty oil into that, it will sl slide on, glide on gorgeously. So the three that I've been loving the most lately, this is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Obviously, Midnight Recovery Concentrate implies that it's best used at night. I don't think you have to use it at night, but that is when I use it. And typically, this is the one that I will put on before my moisturizer. All the ones, if I use it at night, that's what I do. This is another one that I absolutely love morning or night, and it's the Cora Noni Glow Face Oil. So you can see I've used like three quarters of it so far, but this is again for all skin types. It is or an organic oil, and it works for all of the aforementioned ways of using it. Love that one. And then the beauty, I can't ever say that, beauty, beauty counter, Number three, Balancing and Lang Lang Facial Oil. They have three facial oils in the Beauty Counter, Beauty Counter Skin Care line. This one is my favorite. They have a plumping and a vitamin C as well. Both are also great, but this one is the one I like the most. And again, I will use the this in every way that I mentioned. So those are the three that I love the most and one that I find is the best bang for your buck. Product that is worth the splurge. So I have two. One I'm not gonna talk about too much because it is the Truth Treatments Vitamin C Serum that again is $200, but I will say they do sell them in smaller containers than this that you can get for much cheaper, kind of like a trial size. And because they last so long and the shelf life on this is so long, it's not an L-absorbic acid. I am not gonna pronounce the way, what it actually is. I'll try because another my next thing I'm gonna talk about has the same vitamin C. But because it's not L absorbic, it has a much longer shelf life and it stabilization life. So I would I would try out the smaller one for less money, but I still find that the Truth Treatment Serum is worth even the $199 that the full size is. The other one I didn't bring up here, but it is the Skin Medica TNS Recovery Complex Serum. There are you know many growth factor serums that you can try out there. Uh, this one is my favorite. I have used the Osmosis. I did not care for it. It broke me out. Um, 
I don't know that I've tried any other ones, so I can't speak that this is better, but for me, this has been the best one. And this is the one that is just the growth factor. It's not in the dual chamber. I find that I have vitamin C serums, obviously, and other antioxidant serums that I use. So I don't really need the other side of the chamber of the dual chamber one. I just want the growth factor side. That's why I just buy the recovery complex because it is just the growth factors. I can't remember exactly how much that is. I feel like I buy it so much. I just don't even pay attention, but it is a splurge worthy item. I think the full one ounce size is $220. I, it's one of those things where I didn't realize how much it did for my skin until I stopped using it. And when I didn't have it for a few weeks, I just felt like my skin looked awful. And I don't know if that was true or not, but for me, it felt it. And so it's worth it to me. It is definitely worth the splurge. All right, we're down to the last question and it is my newest skincare product. So this is the last skincare product that I have purchased. And I had mentioned not using the Truth Treatments Vitamin C every day. I like to alternate it. I used to alternate it with my May Love Vitamin C. That is an L-absorbic acid. I ran out of that. So I wanted to try something different. Still love the May Love. But I chose this one and it is the Colleen Rothschild Vitamin C Treatment Complex. And this is a one fluid ounce kind of um, old school toothpaste container where you can kind of roll it down if you needed to. But you can see that's about how much I've used so far. And the reason that I chose this is because it is $65, but I was able to get like 25% off, I think, because she runs sales almost weekly. So I feel like you're never going to really have to pay full price for something. And the vitamin C in this is the tetra, tetrahexyl decal absor absorbate. I can't say it. But it's the same vitamin C that's in this. So that's why I chose it because I feel like that's the vitamin C I respond the best to. So this was a lot cheaper. I wanted something to alternate. So I bought this so far. I mean, it's not broken me out. I like it. I like it as an alternate. So I have been kind of using this three days a week, the truth treatments four days a week, and I love it. So this was the last one that I bought. Again, the Colleen Rothschild Vitamin C Treatment Complex. And that is that, my skincare tag, skincare addict tag. I don't know, it was fun. I like talking about skincare. I don't think I do it quite enough. Um, I probably do it too much, but you know, because I love it so much, I don't feel like I do it quite enough. So thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure and let me know your favorite skincare product of all times down in the comment section below. I always like to know, oh, hair, hair in the lipstick, <laughs> what y'all's favorites are as well. So as always, thank you for watching. I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.